right, let's make this barometer. We need some tape, scissors, a straw, rubber band, this piece of plastic. I got this from a loaf of bread wrapper, but you can use saran wrap and you can also use a cut and stretched out balloon. So any kind of stretchy kind of material and some kind of jar. Here's a glass mason jar, but you could use like a cleaned out peanut butter jar or a mayonnaise jar, any kind of jar. So to make our barometer, I'm gonna take my plastic and I'm going to put it on top of the jar and secure it in place with a rubber band. Okay. And when you do that, you wanna pull on the plastic on all the sides so it creates a nice, smooth surface. Now I'm gonna take a second to cut the edges and tape everything down. All right, as you can see, I cut off the extra pieces of plastic and I've just taped it down, making it nice and secure. I left the rubber band alone, help give it a little extra bit of sturdiness. Now I'm gonna take my straw and I'm going to place it in the middle of the top of the jar. So how the science works. When we built this, the air pressure inside the jar and the air pressure in the room was the same. But as the air pressure changes and say the outside is higher pressure, it's gonna push down on this plastic. When it pushes down on the plastic, it's gonna make the straw tilt up. And when the air pressure on the outside is lower, then the plastic is gonna dip down and it's gonna cause my straw to point upward. And that way we can keep track of how the air pressure is changing. You're gonna to wanna to put some kind of paper behind your jar, maybe up against the wall. So once a day or a couple of times a day, you can mark the position of the straw and therefore you can keep track of whether or not your air pressure is going up or if your air pressure is going down. And remember, high pressure indicates that we're gonna have nice clear weather and low pressure indicates that we're gonna have some bad weather in store for us. Okay, so today we're going to make a rain gauge. So the things you're gonna need is some kind of container, something maybe from the recycling bin. You're going to need some kind of measuring tool and some tape. So you're gonna take um, some sort of container. You're gonna have somebody cut off the top of it. And with your measuring tape, make sure that the one is at the bottom. You're going to place it inside. You'll take the tape. And you're going to tape it on both sides. And when you put this outside, something to hold it down, you could use a rock or something, so that when it rains, you'll be able to see how many inches that it has rained. Okay, so now we're going to take our rain gauge. We're gonna set it down in a place that's not covered so that it still gets rain in it. We're gonna take our shell, place it in so that it doesn't fly away, and then you can come back and see how much rain. And here is an anemometer. You can see the cups are spinning a little slowly. And we could feel that the wind is blowing just a little bit, but not too much. You don't really see the leaves moving on the trees. 